This is the Nisi C5 matte box. And in this video, I wanna go through why you would want to use a matte box. And I wanna show you this C5 matte box and all of the features that you have if you wanted to use one of these when you're out filming. Now, I just wanna say a special thanks to Nisi for sponsoring this video. They're the ones that built this matte box and I've actually switched to using all of Nisi's filters in the last few months because of their true color filters which create no color cast over your footage. Now I did a whole video where I break down the difference between variable ND filters and I show exactly what happens if you have an ND filter that does have an orange or a green color cast. And I'll include that video down below in the description if you want to check it out. But first let's just talk about matte boxes and what this is and why you would want to use one. So there's four reasons why you would want a matte box. And essentially this accessory controls the amount of light entering your lens. The first reason is spill. So if I was shooting in direct sunlight, well, the light could hit the lens and cause a flare. Now you don't always want a flare, sometimes you do, but most situations you wanna make sure that your lens is clear of flares or just ghosting, where you'll see like this film over the image that's just light spilling on the lens. So having the matte box on front controls that light. Around the lens you have this square box which is gonna control light coming from all directions. And then on top you have this flag that controls things like the sun up in the sky coming down and hitting the lens. Now the second reason is filtration. So right now I have ND filters in here. I've got two of them. One of them is my variable ND, and this is just a four stop ND. And you can add different styles of filters into a matte box, and it's super easy to bring them in and out. So I could add something like a Black Pro Mist filter in exchange for this ND that I have in here as well. But because of the way these are set up, you can add multiple filters. So if you wanted to have something like a Blue Streak or a Black Pro Mist, and then add that with your ND, well, because you have multiple filter trays, you can add in different styles of filters without having to screw them on the front of your lens. Now, the third reason is that it's protection. So you pull this down, and when you're carrying this camera, well, if something hits the lens or I drop this, well, it's gonna protect the front glass elements of your lens. And also when you're outside, if there's like dust hitting your lens, well, all of it's protected by having this matte box on the front. And the fourth reason is, well, they look cool. But really, if you're working in a professional setting and you use a matte box in front of your lens, it's gonna make your camera look bigger. There's definitely been some shoots that I've been on where having a matte box makes it feel like it's a bigger camera, especially when we're working with these small mirrorless style bodies. Some clients don't understand that how powerful these little cameras are, and when you build out a camera, it's gonna make it look a lot better on set, especially when someone's paying you thousands of dollars to shoot their video. So let me show you this Nisi C5 matte box and all of the features that you have with this. So the design is fairly simple. It's small and lightweight, which makes it super easy to use on small mirrorless bodies. But also if you wanted to put this on a bigger cinema camera, it would fit nicely. With the C5, you get the matte box, you get the rotating variable ND, and you also get the carrying pouch and some different adapter rings for different styles of cameras. So right now I have the 67 millimeter on because my Sony 3514 uses a 67 millimeter, but what comes in this kit is 72, a 77, and an 82 millimeter ring. So you can adapt this to all different styles of lenses, and how it works is you just have the screw on the side, you release it, and it pops right off. So you can keep this ring on your lens, and when you need to use the matte box, you just slip it on, tighten it up, and now you're ready to start filming with it and it's got a nice secure connection. Also with the C5, you have the carbon fiber top flap, which is gonna help reduce sun glare from the top. And the way that this is designed, there's a little bit of depth between the front element and the first filter tray so that you can reduce glare from all directions. Now also on the sides of this matte box, you can see that there's a little bit of gap on either side and this allows for some wind resistance so the wind will easily pass through when you're in a windy environment. Now you have two filter trays. You have a four by four filter tray and a four by 5.65 filter tray. One's on the side and one's on the top. Now with the variable ND, it's just a tray that slips in the top of your matte box and there's a rotating disc on the top so that when it's in your camera, you can easily turn it from one to five without having to actually rotate anything. 
Also with the variable ND, you can add on a motor on the top so that you can control the strength of your ND wirelessly. Now, if you wanna add more ND to this matte box, well, you could just slip in a four stop or a six stop ND in the side, and now you have more options between both filters. However, if you wanna add color effects, say you want like a blue streak or a black pro mist, well, you could either combine them with the variable ND that's in the top, or you can use them as a standalone and they just slip right in like these other filters. Now, the big thing with a matte box like this is that it's super easy to change your filters in and out. You just pull them out, change out the filter and slip it back in. And then you never have to worry about screwing them onto the front of your lens. It just makes it a lot easier when you're out filming and working with this kind of a system. So if you wanna see more about the C5 and all of the different filters that you can use with it, I'll put a link down below in the description. But next, make sure you check out this video right here, which goes through why you actually want to use an ND filter and what the difference is between good quality filters and bad quality filters. I'll see you over there.